Excuse me. I went to pee, you guys. I went to pee, and he... You just had breakfast. Mommy just got done doing the dishes. He's got bacon out, ketchup, sour cream, and what do you have? You got the cheese. Yeah, that's cheese. Can I have it? Thank you. You want a piece of cheese? I'll give you some. She's gonna have to reach for that cheese. What you want? What you want, girl? You want the cheese? You want cheese? And Daddy's calling. Did you get your cheese? And what did you end up with? A juice box? Do, did you get juice? Let me open it. Okay. What do you want? You want more cheese already? Can you say cheese? Is this what you want? Cheat, you want some cheese? Daddy! Well, try some. It's good. I don't think he's a fan of cheese, but. <laughs> so, you are going to eat cheese? Cheese! Oh, you don't like. You got cheese? Mm. Is it good? Say cheese! Cheese! That's so cute. Yeah. I love you. Coot. If you guys really pay attention, he is starting to say a lot more words. Anyways, hey guys, how are you? Funny way to start the vlog out, huh? I had to go pee and I come back and they are right in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna leave that cheese out because I got a feeling Miss Chloe is, uh-huh. Yeah, she's already showing me, it's almost gone. She's gonna be coming back for more cheese. Don't mind the brush in the sink. Colton likes to, he can't reach the garbage can because we've got it behind the gate. You could probably take a good guess as to why because they like to dig in the garbage. So he throws everything in the sink. I guess he thinks that's where the garbage are. It's because I put all the... You still got a mouthful. You want more? 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 Okay, good sign. You didn't like the cheese? Yeah, that's where his cheese went. Hey, give me that cheese. Let's get this out. And... Round three. What I was saying, if you listen, Colton is t starting to say a lot more words. He's starting to talk more. He's not really still yet putting two words together, but he is saying a ton of new words. So that's always a plus. Later today, I think either I'm going to show you guys how I make my Parmesan crusted pork chops. And if Sean don't ain't feeling that, we'll go with something else. But I'm definitely going to show you guys how I make my Parmesan crusted potatoes in the oven. And they are um, and yes, it includes an entire stick of butter. Stick with me on it. It's delicious. The sun is finally out today. So Sean is gone to do some stuff for work. Took some packages to the post office. The road into our house is blocked because they are starting to do road work. He just called and he's like, I had to take the long way around. And uh, yeah, so I don't know if we're going to be getting mail today. That, that's always probably a good thing because it's usually bills. Sean says I say but um so many times. He's like, do you realize how many times you say but um and I have to cut it out? I'm like, this is me. Like it or lump it. But the sun is out today finally. I reckon we are supposed to have five more days of rain after today. Again, I don't know what's going on with my house. If it's my house or if it's, you know, we had no power for six days and it was raining a lot. It, everything got really moist. Let me show you if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it. It has to be close to the top here. Okay, I'm not digging for it. Maybe I can, I think I took a picture and sent it to Sean. Do you guys see this? I just bought this lemon in my fruit two days ago. Open the raspberries, because uh, I bought strawberries, raspberries, lemons. I've been giving the kids the strawberries. Most of them are rotten now. But I opened up the raspberries to give them some raspberries with breakfast this morning, and they were mush. So I had to throw them all away. Pick them up, and they were like melting between my fingers. Well, <laughs> I go over, because I was going to put a little lemon in either the pork chops, the Parmesan-crusted pork chops, or the potatoes, whichever I do, and realized 
that my lemon, as you've seen, was completely rotten and molded. I was sitting here thinking, is it the fruit or is it my house? Because some of our papers in there on the desk are starting to get like mildew on them. But like I said, we had no power for six days. It was really moist, really wet. A lot of ha water got under the house. You guys seen, well, I don't know if you did. It's on my TikTok, but the water got up to our vents outside and some water did get under our house. So I had to um, take Clorox wipes and clean all of my doors. They started getting mildew, mold stains all over them, all of my window seals. So I'm just wondering like, do I have extra moisture in my house? But the raspberries were in the refrigerator. So I don't know. It just, it irks me. We don't even have time to eat the fruit we buy anymore before it goes bad. Last two times we went and got it, it's the next day it's starting to rot. That's my rant for the day. I don't know if it's my house, the temperature in my house, or if it's just the dang fruit itself. Well, time for my morning routine. I know a lot of people have asked about this. I'm gonna just kind of walk you through my I don't sit well kind of day. Do the best I can, because most of the time when I don't sit well, for some reason I just get moving around and I forget to fire up the camera. I don't know what it is. I stay moving. I go to bed around one or two, and I'm back out of bed by seven, 7.30, and then it's just a constant go, 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 go. I don't quit. Like, <laughs> And through the day, I film, I do so many different things that I could film an amazing vlog, but I don't know what it is. I just got a bad habit of just doing it because a lot of it's derived from my ADD madness in my head. I see something that needs done. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this. And, and then I just lose track. And then once I'm done, I'm like, man, that would have been a great part of a vlog. So I just got to get in a better habit of picking the camera up. First things first is... Uh, I gotta get some of y'all's packages and take them to the, the post office. Here's about the biggest part of damage we occurred from the flood. All this rock and gravel washed out behind this state constructed barrier. We'll call it a, a band-aid. But when all that water rushed down this way, it come through here, pushed all this out into here. Now I guess they're gonna do so many feet over this way, but all this is my responsibility so i've got jamie that actually done this property up here i'm gonna have him come and push it all the way up so i got me a nice free gravel driveway and then i'm gonna send them the bill for it i'm currently trying to figure out a way that i can help people with driveways i'm crunching the numbers on a t-shirt pretty much you know be like 606 strong or come hell or high water or something like that but i gotta see if it'll even be cost effective like if i can even because I have to buy the shirt, the ink, the pre-treatment. So we'll see. I got to get a little more into it. Like I said, crunch some numbers. See how it'll work out. I know this printer looks familiar. But look here. We now have two. We bought this thing on July 12th. It just come in yesterday. Somehow this huge 400 pound printer went missing for about two weeks. But it finally found its way home. I've actually got to take some time today to get this set up. I got to get me a table right here to put the, the computer on to control it. But y'all, you know, the shop is coming together nicely. People are complaining about the drywall work. You know what? Long as I can get some shirts out to you guys. Care less what this place looks like. It's dry. It's not humid. It's actually really cold in here right now. Let's see. It is. Like she's pumping these out quick and that's a load off my mind that's gonna give me more time to do some videos for y'all now i've done a little video on facebook about the runoff that come off of this hill so i think i'm gonna do a bigfoot chronicles get up there see what the damage is in the mountains but you know i was looking at that and i truly believe if we hadn't have done that piece of property and it was able to branch that water off in three different directions Every bit of this, the shop, everything would have washed out, but it split that water enough to where it was able to stay so much off of this because it got up in the yard here. And if we hadn't have had that property done, it would have probably went all the way to the road. The trailers would have floated off. The shop would have floated off. It would have, could have been a bad nightmare. Y'all, I ain't getting to the shop today. This is horrible. Oh my goodness, this is horrible. I can't even get to the shop. Wow. This is unreal. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, come on. Are you under there? <laughs> Hi. Hi, babe girl. She's got her dress on that her daddy got her. And it is adorable. She looks like a little little pilgrim. Look how cute. Oh, okay. Alright. You gonna get my toes again? Oh, man. Okay, it's scary. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Cece. <laughs> I thought you was going to get Mama's toes. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I'm going to get him. <laughs> Is it scary? breakfast shenanigans. Alright, don't you get my toes. <laughs> Is that funny? Is that funny? Are you okay? Tell, tell Bubba, say, tell Bubba, say you ain't getting my blanket with Charlie Brown. <laughs> Alright, Bubba, she don't want, she wants her blanket. Are you about ready to do some school? Yes. All right. Fist bump. Awesome. Fist bump. Awesome. Love you. Love you. One, two, three. God, man. That's an awesome trick. I ain't going to get no school out of these two, which is today is just markers and um, coloring books and blank paper. So I don't know if I'm going to be getting school any anytime soon until... The, I guess the um, strawberries has got them wired up. I don't know. <laughs> Yay! 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 Was that a thumbs up? One, two, three, go! go! Fall back, Cece! <laughs> Yay! Good job! So seeing the detour brought me here through Awesome, I guess I'm going to pop in and see how Donnie's doing on the track. Looks like he's actually getting all these bleachers that got destroyed, cleaned up. This guy's having too much fun. I don't know if I can find the video during the flood, Donnie was out on a jet ski rescuing people. When his jet ski, I don't know where he come up with it, but he was on a jet ski going around grabbing people out of the water. They was coming down uh, bed sheets, shimmying out of windows to get to him. having way too much fun in the midst of talking to Donnie in typical fashion of the way things go for me uh, I got a call that my heat press went down spring broke on it or come loose or something I don't know I gotta go check it out but Donnie is having a race y'all will see this Friday so Saturday the 20th there'll be a race at the Isom Firegrounds we're gonna be there if little mama and the babies ain't, I'm definitely coming down. He's also having practice on Friday, but like I said, this is going to be Friday when you see this. So, yeah, it ain't going to make no difference because by the time you see it, the practice probably already be over. But, I 
like I said, the race is Saturday. So if you're in the area, I know we got a lot of people here in Virginia, you know, Pike for area. So if any of y'all want to come out, hang out for a minute, watch a good race, watch some kids have some fun, come on down. It's a family friendly environment. There's no alcohol or anything like that. It's all good people. So just come on down, hang out. May decide to start coming every time we have a race or an event. All right, let's go check on this heat press. They got the road closed, so I ain't gonna run into anybody. So I figured I'd show y'all this. This is what our road is. This is all just about to shoot over the mountain. And it's actually the neighbor down there. It's like a trampoline. Yeah, and here's what's weird. I don't see a spring or anything anywhere in here. I don't even see where one would have been. That's the story of my life though, in a nutshell. You guys, I am battling the worst migraine I've ever had in my life. I don't know what's going on. But anyhow, I wanted to show you guys. Right here is the vent I was talking about. You can see there's our windows. So our floors are, they're probably about right here. But the water was up to the vent here. That's why well, you can see all that's still soaked. But we had to move these blocks out. It was up on that one too. This vent right here, it got up. These are a little higher, I think. It was to about right here, all the way around. So I know a little bit of water definitely got in those vents over there and went, and went under the house. Like I said, we didn't have any power for six days. Definitely fighting some mildew and stuff right now. It's already been damp all summer. So, ongoing battle. But anyhow, and I kind of wanted to show you <laughs> something I done. Whoops. I am on a spare tire right now because when I was going out, the roads are destroyed here right now. And I knew about this huge hole that busted out when uh, the flood happened. Problem was there was cars coming in the other lane beside of me so I couldn't get over. And I slowed down and it still, it warped my rim. Yeah, right there. It literally sounded like my motor fell out of my car. And I had the kids with me and it absolutely scared the crap out of me. My niece was with me too. <laughs> Unfortunately, we had to order another rim because, you know, Sean's truck is not in the best shape. You guys know the battle we've been having with that for years. The heat and it's starting to smoke really bad. Uh, it's had so many issues. It was broke down setting for like nine months and Sean finally was able to get it fixed. But yeah, I, I warped to the rim on my tire. I'll admit it. Molly cat. What's the kitty cat say? Look at her, you guys, in her little dress and her Crocs. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. Where's dad? Where's dad? You guys, some of y'all might remember that's been here forever. But he, that he's had that since he was one. We had it over at the house we used to live in. He, we just found it the other day. He said, wow. Did you find your popper? Yeah, he used to drag that thing everywhere outside with him. And now he's doing it again. Today is supposed to be our last clear day for an entire week. And I'm really worried about this. Mudslide, it's already broke off twice. You can tell it broke off there. And then a couple days later, we had a horrible rain again. Our entire creek bank, you can see, that's how high it... Uh, eat a lot of our creek bank up it absolutely rearranged our creek again all the way down all this rock and mud so i'm a little concerned about that the rain that's coming again this hillside is it's not looking good but that right there the runoff i guess coming from all the mountains up there it was like a it was shooting 
clear water, like spring water, and it was just shooting right down into here. There's a hump a little bit right here, and then it goes down and it levels. So it was all just, it was washing over this and piling up there. So that's a little concerning too. Sean tried to, it didn't help much. I mean, it helped a little, but he tried to just make a pathway. I mean, mind you, it was dark and like, four o'clock in the morning and we were just like shocked because we went to bed and everything was fine woke up a couple hours later and boom stepped out into a foot of water no power water in the yard almost up to the vents in the house it was crazy okay you guys i have decided just to do the parmesan crusted potatoes and the pork chops i'll show you what i'm gonna do with them but for now we're gonna get the potatoes ready because they're gonna take the longest they have to bake in the oven for about 25 minutes on um i've got it set pretty much 425 but i'm gonna get these washed up and get the butter melted and i'll show you how i add everything okay you guys i was just gonna show you how you are supposed to cut and score these potatoes it's really easy so i just cut mine in half and then you take and just score them until you've pretty much got this oh well don't do that but anyways it's enough for the butter and the parmesan and stuff to get up in there while it's baking uh, i got the butter melted i haven't added the stuff yet but what i'm going to do is drizzle some over the top while they're upside down then i'm going to flip them because they bake face down that way they'll crust okay my butter was unsalted so i'm going to add a little bit of salt some pepper and i'll probably add that again on top of pepper onion powder a little bit of garlic powder you guys season it with whatever you want this is just what i have and what i'm putting in and some parsley as i'm just going to take this brush and i'm just going to wipe it and try to get a little bit of stuff down inside the potatoes i'm going to take a little bit of the parmesan and sprinkle right on the top now i'm going to take the rest of this and just dump it right in and I'm gonna add some more Parmesan. Now we're gonna add the potatoes back in, face down, rub them around. We're just gonna have to squeeze that one in. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, some more Parmesan cheese. I know they look horrifying right now, but trust me, they are delicious into the oven at 425 about 20 25 minutes just check them with a fork or a knife anyways let's get the pork chops going going to use a little bit of seasoning salt both sides a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper and that's it just do both sides of the pork chops and then we're going to get them in the skillet with a lot of butter what are you hungry <laughs> yum like i said lots of butter and I've only got these on medium high because I don't want to burn them and make them hard. So we're just going to let them slowly cook in this butter and seasoning. And I got corn cob getting ready to go in, waiting on the water to start boiling. Oh, if you guys could just that smells so good that is just a different way to change up potatoes or mashed potatoes or just salt and pepper on them and in the oven that parmesan crust once it gets cooked and starts burning on there it is delicious you guys pork chop with some little taters is that good nummies is it good oh you attacking that corn ain't you sissy manner I've been going all day. I gotta eat. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed that vlog. I don't know what happened to the footage on the GoPro. The audio was jacked on 90% of it. I had charged that GoPro with the generator, and I don't know if maybe a surge went through and done something to it, but the audio was completely destroyed. Every time I would move the camera, it would just totally cut my audio out. So I've got to figure out something to do for camera for me to carry around the vlog because I stay busy. Like I said, I don't sit well, and I miss every day so much good filming opportunities just because i don't keep a camera with me i'm gonna change that because we got a lot going on there's literally so much going on that we're doing i'm staying 
here, there, and everywhere. Little mama's here with the kids most of the time. So I've got to come up with a plan to make sure I got a camera on myself to film some of these things that's going on. But all right, we're going to leave you here. Little mama is talking to her mom and sister. So I'm not going to interrupt her. I'm just going to get her to say the stay positive. Stay positive, guys. I just said stay positive. Oh, stay country. Stay true to your roots, y'all. God bless you. And we'll see you on the countryside. Yeah, bye. Bye.